People have been debating the origins of crop circles for years now, and YouTube doesn't offer any relevant answers. However, I do have some information for you about Crop Circle, a company founded by Scott Maple that produces some high-quality sci-fi props, and Natasha Eloy has the story. This is amazing, this entire collection. But I noticed there seems to be a theme. Aliens, monsters, robots. What is it about them that you're so passionate about? Well, they're certainly not something that you see every day, for one. And uh, for the most part, they are likenesses of ourselves. So it's sort of a Michelangelo take on, you know, that picture of God reaching man made in his own image. And most of the stuff we do is based on humanity. Going 11 years strong, Crop Circle is an ensemble of the finest craftspeople whose passion for the science fiction and fantasy genre is conveyed in the high benchmark of work they put into each of their creations. Whether it be robots, monsters, aliens, costumes, or the coolest props and weapons, there's nothing Crop Circle can't do. This one is a conceptual Vader helmet. This is what he might have looked like had they adhered closely to the original Macquarie sketch. The Cylon Centurion was sort of Darth Vader taken to the next level to some degree on television. So we recreated this piece in vacuum form plastic and it's vacuum metalized and we've got custom electronics and it's actually superior to the suits that they would have had in 78. I have my horse head pillow, which is one of the pieces that we're most well known for, the severed end and very comfortable piece to sleep with just for all the wise guys, or the wannabe wise guys in your in your family. Well, here we've got a uh, reproduction of the Fifth Element Lilu costume, which uh, features the suspenders made of silicone rubber. It's basically science fiction meets Hi, haute fashion. couture. Yeah. yeah. This is a, a combination of a whole bunch of media. We've got metal, we've got plastic, we've got leather. Really, you can't go wrong with that. It's a recipe for success. Not only does Scott and the crew of Crop Circle accept custom project work from fans, but they also receive requests from the sci-fi genre industry itself. Earlier this year, we'd actually heard from uh, Bertina Schultz of Mittendorf, who is the daughter of the sculptor and creator of the original 1927 Metropolis robot, Maria. We were asked to take on the task of doing a recreation of that particular costume because it was destroyed in the filming. We like to do the sort of things that we want to do, and luckily there's enough project work out there that we can pretty much pick and choose. And joining us in the studio, it's Scott Maple from Crop Thank Circle. You. There you go. I'm sorry about that. Got the ring wraith gloves on. These are just some of the things that you create. We got a few more on the table in front of us. Yes. Why don't you tell me a bit about them? This is a miniature of the machine and bench from Metropolis that we're right. doing a 1 1 scale version of. That's for cool. for world release soon. Hannibal Mask. Yes, the Silence of the Lambs. That's uh, David Draymond was using one of our masks on his world tour. Very cool. Right disturbed. now as well. And we got a horse head down below that's uh, going to be yes. available in stores pretty in soon, In stores right? very shortly. Awesome. Maybe I'll pick one up myself. Now, what is it about sci-fi that draws you to it? Why do you love it so much? Just love the fact that it is uh, it sort of defies reality. Yeah. It's an opportunity to create and uh, we do, we just love to live in the dream world. And yeah, who does it? Stuff. Sure, That's of course. That's a good point. Uh, so how long did it take you to make the uh, the big Cylon back here? I mean, it's obviously from this. I thought that was yours. No, actually, the, I thought you brought the no. Cylon in today. Nope. I, maybe we should. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. I like that one. Cylons have pizza days? I don't know. You think he'll give it back? <laughs> 